The Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome outbreak in South Korea continues. A woman returned to Taiwan from a business trip to South Korea and suffered from fever. On June 13th in the evening, she was admitted to a quarantine ward. Experts believe that there is no evidence that South Korea is already in the community infection stage of the disease, but they recommend that people should avoid visiting South Korea to reduce the possibility of infection. On June 13th, the Taipei City Hospital Zhongshao Branch admitted a Taiwan woman with a fever who is returning from South Korea. The hospital found that the woman picked up goods in Seoul on June 9th and returned to Taiwan on June 12th with the fever. On June 13th, she sought medical treatment and was admitted to a quarantine ward for tests, which were sent to the laboratory on June 14th. In 24 hours, the results should be known. In Korea, the fourth suspected outbreak of MERS infection has appeared. A 70-year-old ambulance driver who had contact with a suspected MERS patient in his ambulance is infected. A police officer also contracted MERS after he met a friend from the Middle East. These have triggered fears that South Korea may be in the community-acquired stage of infection. So far, there are seven new confirmed MERS cases in South Korea. The total number of people diagnosed is 100 145, and there have been 14 deaths. Domestic experts suggest that there has been a lack of transparency about the infections in South Korea, and Taiwanese should avoid visiting to reduce the possibility of infection. The Centers for Disease Control also recommended that Taiwan follow the example of Hong Kong and Singapore and increase the warning level.